In this video, I'm going to show you how to update your installed PC version of RetroArch. As time continues to move on, RetroArch sees numerous updates, especially now that they've migrated their build bot over to a new server, we have seen a number of updates just in the last couple of months. When I started my tutorial series, RetroArch was on version 1.9.2 for its latest stable build, but earlier this week, 1.9.3 was released, thus putting my version out of date. While this won't affect most of the cores and things like that, it's still nice to know how to update to the latest version without having to start from scratch, and that is what I'm going to show you today in this video. So the first requirement is to have an older version of RetroArch installed. If you've been following my tutorial series, you're probably on 1.9.2, maybe you're on 1.9.1, I don't know. But if you're doing a new install of RetroArch, you're going to be on 1.9.3 already, so you're good to go. This is just for those of you that might be on an older version. And this will apply to other versions besides the 1.9.3 newest build. Like, they're going to keep updating it, and you can follow these steps to always be on the latest version. But let's go ahead and get started. So to do this, I'm just going to quit out of RetroArch. So the first step to updating our installed version of RetroArch is to head over to RetroArch.com and click on the download button. Now again, if you want to install a completely new version of RetroArch, you could just start over from scratch by grabbing the installer or the 64-bit download link in 7-zip format. But that's going to mean you're going to have to redo your settings and just you're starting over from scratch. That's what that is for. If you want to just update the build that you already have, just keep on scrolling until you're near the bottom of the page and you'll find this other download section and we are going to click on nightly builds. Now again, this is going to be based on nightly builds for these updates, so it might introduce a few bugs or glitches compared to the stable builds, but in my experience with RetroArch over the last 6-7 years, it hasn't ever been something so bad that I didn't use it, and anytime it was bad, it's just a couple days until a new version came out and fixed it. So I don't, I don't know. I've never personally seen a problem with nightly builds. So that's the method I'm going to go with for these updates. Like that's what I'm going to show. You don't have to do this. You could just stay on your build. You could download a new stable build. I'm just going to show you how to update it to the latest nightly. From here, click on windows, x86 64. If you're on a 64 bit processor, which I hope you are in 2021. And now we're just going to scroll all the way down to the bottom here, and there is RetroArch Update.7-Zip. So just download this. And once it's downloaded, you just need to get it extracted. It's in 7-Zip format, so if you don't have 7-Zip installed, head over to 7-Zip and get it downloaded. And then just right-click on it, 7-Zip, Extract RetroArch Update. Now we're just going to open up that RetroArch Update folder and you'll see that there are a load of new files and a new executable for RetroArch. So we are just going to copy all of these and then put them into your current RetroArch build folder. So here is my current RetroArch build folder and I'm just gonna paste everything in here. And it's gonna say that there's a bunch of files with the same names. Yes, we want to replace them. We're updating, we're replacing them. And once that process is finished, we can load up RetroArch and as you can see, we are now on build 1.9.3 instead of 1.9.2. And this will give us all the latest features and updates that came with it. And then another thing that you might want to be aware of is how to update your installed cores as well. So after getting your RetroArch install updated, you're on the main menu, go to the online updater, and then just click on this handy update installed cores tab right here and it will check all of the cores that you have installed and update them as needed to the latest versions. And that is the update process for RetroArch. Again, this will bring you to the latest nightly builds, so there might be some bugs involved, but again, it's never been anything so breaking that I haven't used nightly builds myself in the last five or six years. And it just lets you keep updating your RetroArch install, so that way you don't have to start from scratch just to get the latest stable builds. I mean, technically, you could probably overwrite your current files with the new build files or transfer stuff over, but again, I just like this method. It's very simple, and it works, and it just keeps you up to date. I do this about once a week to once a month, and I've just never had a problem with it. If you have any questions on this process, feel free to ask me in the comments section below. I will do my best to try to help you out. 
It isn't the hardest process to ever do, but I mean, there are some file movements involved which can complicate things sometimes. Like, technology is just technology. That's just how it is, unfortunately. So, if you run into an issue, feel free to ask in the comments. But now if you could all do me a huge favor, please be sure to hit that like or dislike button, just depending on how much you like today's video. And if you haven't done so already, please be sure to hit that sub button so you can see when new videos go live on my channel. We're very close to hitting our goals, thanks to all of you to spending some time here, watching the videos, checking the place out. Like, just huge thank you to all of you for that. If you'd like to further help support the channel, you can also check out that join button here on YouTube or the Patreon link in the bottom right-hand corner of the screen. A little really goes a long way to keeping this place up and running, and we are just so grateful to all of you for that. Champions, thank you for being with us. Thank you for supporting this place. Thank you for everything you've done. But that's going to do it for this one. So until next time, my wonderful internet peeps, stay awesome, and we will see you all back next video.